Hi everyone, welcome to the super fun, awesome Happy Time Pedal Show. My name is Gabor. Hey, welcome. I'm Alex. And we have hey. Craig, special guests. G'day. Uh, you may remember Craig, we did a clone shootout a little while ago, which let's just say you can watch here. I just randomly pointed <laughs> yep. this guy, yes. Um, uh, yes, and he's back uh, now uh, with official business. I am, and um, it's always great being stuck in between you two. It's, oh, thanks. It's great. Thanks, thanks, guys, and great show. Thanks. All the guys say that. Do that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, uh, what have you got for us today, Craig? Okay, so this is our Australian Direct Kick-Ass Campfire Series Guitars. Beautiful. So we come up with a little guitar that's a novelty little fun little item. Yep. And instead of taking your big guitar around to expensive guitar to your campfire, we made a little mm. mini guitar. Little mini guitars, which I, I bought for you guys to tell me what you think. And there's three different versions of them. There's Gavin, uh, Shazza, and Robbo. That's it. Yes. Uh, no, what, what is it? There's brown, mid-brown? Uh, so brown, mid-brown, and abstract mid-brown. So... So, but all the information's on the website. There'll be links below. So there's a link to it below. Uh, you can purchase it from the um, Australian Direct website. Uh, okay, well, let's check. which one should we go first? Which one? Alex, you go first. Sure. You, you never stop talking, so why don't you go first? Okay. <laughs> so they tune up to uh, A, so basically it's still all the same chords, uh, same, um, what's the word for it? Be like Inter intervals. Intervals. Yeah. intervals. So it's like a cape on the fifth fret. Fifth fret yeah, so it's tuned to A. So when I play an E chord, so it's actually an A chord, but just keep in mind that if you're playing with full size, full size guitars, You have the fire going down here. You can't see it, but he's <laughs> always got to do those fancy chords, you know. Like... Yeah. A yeah. minor seven. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> a lot of that. Either for like a travel guitar, like we were saying with um, campfire thing, easy to put in the car with bags and kids and dogs and all that yeah. stuff. Or bags and kids and dogs. As or leave the kids at home. <laughs> you take your guitar. Just, just you and the guitar. You and the guitar. Hey. Um, also, as a as a serious kind of studio tool yeah um, yep. we were talking before if you haven't checked out Tim Pierce's channel he's a great guitarist hello Tim Pierce I know you're not watching but hello <laughs> Tim Pierce <laughs> uh, he's used similar kind of instruments as layering for like faux 12 string or faux mandolin type effects yep and yeah. they can be really cool as a, um, a layering instrument for recording too yeah yeah this one has uh, uh, if you haven't seen the sound holes the kind of teardrop things on the side it looks kind of cool yeah. you can sort of see right in it's. I find it interesting. Kind of, you can see, see sort of the, the construction. You can see the, um, what do you call them? Bracing. Bracing. Yeah. That's the word I was looking for. Um, nice. Yeah, it's cool. Should we check out yours? So this is the the light brown. Um, little feature with this one is probably the little mother of pearl style inlays around the uh, the yeah. outside, which is different from from Alex's. Um, one. We've got. Real, actually, real bone nut. Okay. Real, real bone. So it's, you know, it's not plastic like a lot of guitars. So I know we only see that in expensive guitars. So that's one really cool feature it, of it. What? I was wondering, so where, what creature does the bone come from? Mm. Guessing cows. Cow bone? It is actually ox bone. Is it ox bone? It, it oh, actually, you know, okay, you know. It's okay. actually ox bone. I was, I was wondering, so yeah. who did it, where did it get the bone, bones from? I've seen. Um, Have you seen The Lion bones. King? <laughs> the elephant graveyard. Oh, that's yeah. where they go. You go there and go left. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. You can see it from there. Yeah, you can see it from there in the distance. Talk but... to Simba. Uh, yeah. he, he works for Australian Direct now as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, I agree with um, with Alex too. They're like, as much as they've been a novelty little campfire guitar, the professional from real Muso's point of view, yeah. when I grabbed these and started playing it, was like, how cool are these? Like, they sound there's, great. There's, there's heaps of uses for them in recording and mm -hmm. you know which is really cool so well like um just playing on the couch when instead of watching neighbors yep there's an australian play, play guitar <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. is that still on is that still going who cares true <laughs> and i tend to watch um home and away more so ah, yes. <laughs> yeah. closer each day yeah. <laughs> 
There's lots of Australian references there. Um, but it is Australian direct. So, uh, no, I, I really, I think it's really good. And so the, the strings and stuff, they were the ones that came with it. Yeah, so this is, they've just come out of the box like this. So just tune them up this morning for you. So, you know, being a brand new guitar, if, you know, when you're lucky enough to get a brand new guitar, a little bit of, you know, running in and bedding in, which will be great to see how these go through the years. But yeah, they're... Sure. That's cool. Yeah, and even look, there's a, there's a lot of little details and stuff that are, that are quite cool. And I, I kind of I do like. I have to say, with this one, I like the slotted headstock thing. Okay, yep. I have a thing for slotted headstocks, and strap locks. Yes. <laughs> so when you when you want to rock out while you're doing your campfire stuff, definitely so you can. If you want to do, a, a, if someone dares you to play the guitar while jumping over the campfire, <laughs> or, or or third chorus, you know, to build the third chorus up, you could always be playing along and then you know go to a raised position and. With the strap, it could build yeah. the song up. Yeah. Yeah. Should we have a play? Many tips. Let's have a play. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to do it? Yeah. I'll do his fancy A minor seven. Oh, it sounds great. I would quite like it. I think it's a, and I tell you who will like it. The kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> So they will be by the day after tomorrow. They'll be beaten to to pulp. Be interesting to see actually how how they'll survive with children. Hmm. Nice. Little children. Well, one of the things being such a small little spacing for the threats is like when you get used to the uh, bigger guitar and then going to a smaller guitar. So it would would suit beginners or or um, or kids or people that are play ukuleles that want to go up another two strings. Is it? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And they are now nylon strings, so we should mention they are nylon string. Yeah, nylon string um, guitars. Which is which they're known for their nice mellow tone, which you guys were doing some really good cool stuff before. Yeah, should we have our attempt at flamenco? Yeah, let's jam? let's let's hear your flamenco jam. I don't know what key. You pick it. E. <laughs> You just flamingos just play every semi tone. <laughs> you, know, you know, we need to do next the three amigos. Oh, oh, oh. oh, 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 oh I forgot about that. We should have done. Where's, where's the sombrero? Yeah, yeah. Um, no, but I, I, I like it. I do like it. I think it's a good guitar. It'd be interesting, actually, like you said, to use it for recording stuff mm -hmm. and to, to actually see what it. It'd be yeah. interesting to see what it sounds like with this. Yeah. Recorded yeah. through this. Uh, 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 um, should we have another little jam that's less flamenco? Sure. You pick you pick chords. Oh, uh, I, I'm on a seven. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> no, but I think it's like, cool. It's fun. The, um, the neck is it's it, it it's this way. It's like a normal normal size neck almost. Mm, but yep. the frets are just a little bit closer together. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but it sounds great. They look cool. Um, smell good. That's all we could ask for. Satin finish. Satin finish. Mm. Mm. Goes faster. Does it? Let's just say it does. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, and, and so they're only available through Australian Direct. Only through Australian Direct. Exclusive here, folks. And do you ship worldwide? We do. Uh, no, we only ship to Australia. Ah, so yeah. everyone else. Sorry, sucked in. sorry. Yes, <laughs> no, Australian only. So Australian only. Cool, yeah. cool, cool. No, that's cool. Uh, get make some friends in Australia, and then they'll you can send it to yeah, them, and yeah. then they'll send it to you. Yep. Talk to us. Uh, actually, send us an email if you want one order of those. Th order through the pedal show. Order through us. Yep. We'll just inflate it by about five, six hundred percent. Yep. And then we'll send it to you, and it may arrive in pieces, but you know that's that's cool. I think. <laughs> Yeah, man. No, but it's cool. Uh, it's I, I like him. Way. I enjoy. I, oh, I great enjoy guys, I'm glad you do. Yeah, very fun. Oops. That's, that's all right. There's not much room here. So uh, uh, we'll put all the links to everything below. Uh, you know where you can find. Oh, and we should actually mention they do come in a padded bag as well. Yeah. It's quite a good. They are a decent bag too. Like, you know. Yeah, kick bag. Kick they bag. Are. Well. They are. Yeah. Well, campfire, if you're going to go to your campfire Tell and there's a heap of people around, it is like a gig, you know, so... Put your guitar in it and yeah. let it go and collect the wood in it. They even had zips that when you go like that, it opens it. <laughs> it, it. And reverse. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And you can, it's like for multiple use, not just once. Yeah. Wow. And one good thing about the bag, too, is it never, ever goes out of tune. Yeah. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> That's why we don't do comedy. <laughs> <laughs> We barely do YouTube, but definitely not yet comedy. Uh, cool. Well, thank you so much for bringing them in. No worries. Um, thank you guys and, for and having might, a play. And... We might do a follow up um, in a couple of months just That'd to see what they're, you know, living with them for yeah, a few yeah. months and see what's like, what it's like, and how they, like, like we were saying, we we're talking before, like especially like the lighter colored ones, you know, with a lot of acoustic guitars, especially with satin finishes, they do tend to kind of yellow a bit over the age and look a bit yeah. worn in. Be interesting to see maybe in six months' time how they're starting to look. And, and it is interesting how different each one sounds. sounds like yeah, just sitting surprisingly, here, they do. Mm. Surprisingly, yeah. yeah. They 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 all have their own character, and I guess it's the different woods, different I am sure all that stuff and even the headstock shape makes a yeah, sure. makes, you know, a difference in that sort of mm. stuff. And with yours having the definitely sound hole shapes. Sound hole shapes and teardrop things and yeah. it'd be interesting as you said on a recording side of thing. You know, mic up near that sand hole and see and what it sounds difference. like. Put a mic in there, even yeah. or something. Yeah. Yeah. Point, 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 point. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, thanks for coming by, man. Yeah, no thanks for coming. Very thanks, interesting. Thanks, thanks for having me. See you again. Thanks, thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah d let's do a follow up. And maybe we're talking about doing some, maybe some other videos too. So you never know. There might be some. You might see him more often. So, uh, and while you do that, make sure to go and check out uh, Australian Direct website, their YouTube channel too. Yes, please. This, yep, check this us may out. possibly yep. be on their YouTube channel as well. Possibly. Hopefully, you can put all the links for me and links. All the links will be there too. And subscribe to their channel. Subscribe to our channel. Uh, even if you're not Australian and you just like looking at videos of camping stuff. Yeah, yeah. Subscribe. So on that note, uh, thank you, Craig. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, guys. <laughs> gotcha.